Hey folks, here we have a cutaway of what they call a diaphragm valve or a weir valve. This is very simple, straight through valve. The weir <coughs> is this area right here that is actual part of the body. It comes up to a point. The diaphragm, when compressed onto that weir, is your seating surface. I don't know if you can see this gap right here, but as I close the valve, that gap narrows. As you can see, the diaphragm making contact with the weir, and that would be your seating area. Diaphragm is normally just a rubber piece. This valve here, this cutaway, is a lined valve. A lot of these valves are used in very toxic systems. They're lined. All right. Uh, other than that, the com major components are the body, which is right here, and the bonnet. This finger, this piece that looks like a bunch of fingers, this is called the compressor. That is attached to the stem, which is actually what presses the diaphragm into the weir. These valves, I don't know if you can see this due to the cutaway, has a little vent port right here. That vent port is used as a telltale. If this diaphragm was a rupture while on line, you would have process coming out that telltale, which would enable whoever, whatever utility, they could put a plug in there and still continue on operating. They would not have to shut down because of a failure of this valve. And then it could be repaired after. One of the other major things on this valve that you see these two nuts up here, one is a jam nut, one is an adjustment. This will set the stroke of the valve. This is very important. Incorrect stroke, no matter how far you close it, the diaphragm is never getting to the weir, it'll never seal, it will never pass leak rate tests.